Hey guys, Randy here with AT3Tactical.com with the Enhanced Nickel Teflon Single Stage Trigger, uh, brought to you by yours truly, AT3 Tactical, of course. And I'm like you, standing poised, ready to drop this bad boy in. Luckily for you, dang near all of us here at AT3, we've done this a bunch of times, so there's probably a little nugget of information, tips, or tricks in this video that might perk your ears. So let's stop wasting time, get right to today's J-O-B, starting of course with the recommended tools list, which uh, looks a little something like this. Quick rundown for the parts for almost all single stage fire control groups, trigger, trigger spring, hammer, hammer spring, disconnector and disconnector spring, and your two trigger pins. For tools, I've got a vise and a Magwell adapter. Magpole people, it's a Bev block. Uh, beyond that, a cute little hammering device like this, a 530 seconds inch punch, and away we go. Also, if you haven't seen our full 17 episode AR-15 series, guys, I highly encourage you to go check out episode number 11's knowledge dump on AR-15 triggers. More than 100,000 of you have already checked it out, so there might be something in there for you. Oh, and I, you know, I gotta do it. This month's giveaway, sign up below a free 6.5 Grindle Upper with some sweet stinger parts. It's free, like free free. Here we go on to step number one and record skip. If you want to know how to remove your existing trigger for all those times everyone like us recommends replacing a gritty mill spec trigger, uh, I'm going to hit you with that little tidbit at the end. Chapters are below if you want to skip, but the next few steps are really what we're here for today. So step one, probably the most important step to ensure that you absolutely get right because it could be the difference between your pew pew going pew or not going pew, or at least without, not without some potential issues. So with that, properly slapping the springs onto the trigger and the hammer, let's do it together. Trigger spring, this rectangular shaped portion here, it must be under the trigger sear with its little feet kicked forward like this. Trick for me, uh, just like putting on a pair of pants, one side over the trigger pin hole, then stretch and capture the other side. And hey, strong guys, it doesn't take men metal bending strength to do this. Uh, actually, try to avoid that altogether, please. Hammer spring, it kind of looks like a wheelbarrow to me uh, when sitting properly, meaning bring that wheelbarrow under the hammer like so, slide the pants on one leg at a time. We're on to step two. Pretty much downhill from here, step two is for the disconnector and spring. First, the spring almost always has a fatter bottom. Uh, the wider part of the spring is there to help retain it in the trigger, and you can typically, typically tell which side is fat by rolling it through your fingers or uh, if it falls out when you put the skinny side down. Either way, spring in the trigger and balance the disconnector on top, like so. On to step three, we're now dropping the trigger and disconnector into our lower, and here comes our first tool. As you drop your trigger in, bow of the trigger facing you, you'll need to slightly decompress the whole kit just enough to see daylight through the trigger pinhole, then jam your punch through and hold it all together. Little side note, if it's not a smooth shot with your pin, just wiggle everything a little bit till it goes through. Step number four, we are now ready to set the first trigger pin, and we're gonna do this in two phases. Phase one, uh, we're starting the pin and getting past that first groove. You'll see that I insert my pin with the long, smoother side going in first. That way I can get more pin inside the control group to hold it together while I get my hammer. And honestly, guys, nine times out of 10, I can push past the first groove with my fingers, but if not, start the pin, grab your hammer, give it a love tap or two, don't let the punch fly out just yet, and we're on to phase two. Phase two, we're driving the pin home. Pretty easy here with the 5.30 seconds inch punch. All I have to do is line it up, tap, until I push that punch out of the way. Once I get past the second groove, I'm gonna finish the whole thing off with a light tap to flush up the pin, and boom, we're on to step five. 
That hammer is coming in next and be a little cautious on this one because things will need to be under spring tension for a minute as you drop your hammer in like so. We're bending the wheelbarrow arms backwards by resting them on top of the trigger that we just installed and with a little bit of force, push the hammer into alignment with the hammer pin hole and then jam that punch through as quickly as you can. Careful, now she's loaded and it will fly across the room if that punch comes loose. Step number six, we are securing the hammer now with a pin, same as we did with the trigger pin, long smooth side first, wiggle and push to capture until you get to the first groove. If you're able to keep going, and if you get to the end with just the slightest little pin left, uh, push, wiggle, squeeze, and hammer until everything's aligned to drive it home, it's pretty simple. For everyone installing your new single stage trigger, that's really a wrap and you're ready to install your safety selector next. For those of us looking how to do this in reverse, watch this demonstration. Your grip and safety selector should already be removed. If not, go ahead and do that. Now engage your trigger, ride the hammer forward, don't let it slam, because this actually reduces some of that spring tension which would cause your hammer to fly across the room with power. Next, pop out that hammer pin with the punch, leave the punch, and then slowly remove it while keeping the hammer from flying. After that, it's the same for the trigger pin, but again, leave the punch. This time, cover everything with your palm as you pull the punch out because if you don't, you'll lose your disconnector and potentially the spring. Done and did. Now go back to step one earlier in this video. Also go down to the AT3 Knowledge Center link below. Get yourself into that 6.5 Grindle upper and everyone else, two stage triggers, drop in triggers, anti walk pins. It's next right over here. Good luck to everyone in the giveaway. We'll see you there.